Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number 440 BSP. It's a dome stop. A 440 from Rockwood is a dome stop. If you use your imagination, you can sure see why they call it a dome stop. The BSP is called Black Suede Powder Coat. Um, this is a black powder coat. Um, I really don't know why they call it suede. It could be, you know, it could have a ref it could be a reference to the texture of the item. You know, when you powder coat something, there is a, if you look close enough, there is a texture to it. Might you describe that texture using the word suede? Perhaps you would. <laughs> it might be a marketing attempt to say, hey, listen, this is going to be uh, a suede. Um, but anyway, the point of the matter is it looks very nice. Um, it's a very nice black finish. It is a powder coated finish. And the mantra from the manufacturers when they powder coat something, they will powder coat the least expensive base material. Um, I'm quite sure that this is going to be made of solid brass, um, meaning this is cast brass. All the exposed black powder coated portion, that base material will be an architectural material, okay, uh, brass, uh, cast brass. This is the short dome stop. There's the small, the short, and then the, then the tall. Uh, this would be the short one. That's because that lip is pretty small. This has a diameter. Let's take some dimensional properties. A diameter of 1 and 7 eighths. A little bit shy on that. Closer to inch and 3 quarter. It's going to have a lip height of quarter inch, they say. I'd say that'd be accurate. It's going to have an overall height of inch and an eighth, holding it upside down brings us to, yeah, I'd say about an inch and an eighth is going to be accurate, maybe a bit, maybe ever so slightly shy on that. Where would you use this dome stop? Well, you're going to use it when you have a typical undercut under the door. You're going to use it when you have um, an undercut that's going to be uh, compatible with, you know, making good contact. So if you have a half inch undercut, that'd be really good. Maybe even three eighths, but that's cutting it pretty close. So half inch would be an ideal undercut. Getting beyond that, maybe five eighths, you're still in good shape. But I think after that, you're going to need to use the taller version, uh, and we'll go over that in a moment. Being made of brass, this can be done by Rockwood in lots of finishes. Obviously, your brasses, your bronze, your chromes. Uh, bronze would typically be a bronze-based material, but it'll be cast brass. Um, your nickels, your satin, your polish, your oil-rubbed finish. Powder coated, obviously, they can powder coat more than just black. I know that they can do white and red as well. And I've seen a, a fairly recent document from Asa Abloy um, in regards to McKinney, Sergeant, Rockwood, their properties that basically said, hey, listen, if you can sketch it out, I bet we can make it. And it's really a renaissance of what... Um, a hundred years ago used to be an exhaustive amount of options. Um, if you were to pull up a, a sister company of Rockwoods would be Yale or would be Sargent or would be Corbin. If you pull up those old catalogs of which we have many of them in the site, you wouldn't have, you know, three choices of levers or knobs or levers. You would have 30. Uh, you wouldn't have a hand, you know, a dozen finishes. You had all, you have a page full of finish options. And it's a bit of a renaissance because they really are offering clients lots of choice. And how that relates to a simple doorstop is black is a fairly new development in the door hardware industry. There's obviously demand for it, and it is the new popular color. That's to be sure. Okay, black finish. Now, there's a link below this video to the product brochure, and a screw is included, a screw and a plastic anchor is included with this. We'll talk about that in a moment. The 440 and then the 441. The only difference is the anchoring that's going to come with it. Uh, if you're going into concrete, order the 441 because that will give you a 1224 machine screw and a lead anchor, a far more durable uh, method of anchoring the unit to a masonry style floor. If you need to go a little bit taller, you can certainly go with the 441 CU uh, and get yourself that riser and that will bump you up an additional 3 eighths. Uh, the 441H is a hybrid of the 440 and the 442, which gives you the best of both worlds, a small lip and a real tall height. Back in the old days, a contractor would say, okay, 
Uh, let me have 50 of the shorts. Let me have 30 of the talls, and I'll return whatever I don't use. Very common for a contractor to walk in and say those words. Um, and that certainly predated the uh, universal style, and it, and it kind of wasn't the thinking where they would use a riser um, to in those instances because they didn't like the look. They just wanted you to do what they were telling you to do. I want 30, I want 50 of this one and 30 of this one. I'll return what I don't use. Um, you can have a riser that is an unfinished piece of material if you've got a carpet installation, which is, of course, quite uncommon nowadays. But that would build that up because your carpet would basically come to here. Um, but the fact of the matter is that product brochure will show you typical options when it comes to just regular dome stops and, and a couple of other stops. That 446 uh, at the very tail end of that product catalog is a very common uh, modern style door stop available from Rockwood. They have lots of variants of modern style trim and auxiliary hardware. That square top, short, they have a taller version of that. They have a radius top version of that as well. Lots of colors can be done. So if you're undercut, your dimensional properties meet the requirements of this short little dome stop, I think you'll be in really good shape. This is a what they would call a Duraflex bumper. Their um, proprietary name for the rubber insert. Um, I don't believe, I'm quite sure that this is not available as a separate standalone product. Um, but it's pretty uncommon for a dome stop bumper to, to fatigue. You've got a lot of surface area that's there. Uh, is the bottom line. Finally, there is, oh, installation. Uh, you're obviously going to mark two holes is what you're going to do. This will go into a into one of the two holes, and it is just intended to give you uh, a, a situation where it won't rotate. So you'll drill two holes, you'll set your plastic anchor, you'll sink the uh, anchor into the floor, and then run your screw into that plastic anchor and consider it complete at that point. Again, finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Rockwood products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm quite partial to Rockwood for a number of reasons. Exceptional quality, fit and finish. Incredibly prompt, reliable, predictable shipping lead times. Exceptional customer service and engineering technical support. Any questions on the 440 and a BSP black suede powder coat or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.